The bill signing ceremony was also marked First Lady Michelle Obama's policy debut after signing the bill which ensures equal pay. She said it was a top priority for women of all ages and racial and ethnic backgrounds. Well, uh, news from back home now. Sri Ram Sene Chief Pramod Muthalik, who made headlines after his supporters attacked women in a Mangalore pub, will be questioned by Maharashtra's anti-terrorist squad. In a speech he made earlier this month, he praised Sadhvi Pragya Singh and accused in the Malegaon blast case. It's also emerged that prime accused in the blast case, Lieutenant Colonel Purohit, also knew him. A team of the National Commission for Women is also reaching Mangalore. For more on these developments, we're now joined by A.M. Prasad, IG West. Sir, thank you for speaking with NDTV. At this point, Muthalik is in your custody uh, for the pub, the Malegao pub attack case. What of his Malegao link, sir? You see, Muthalik is in the judicial custody, and today we have asked for a police custody, and the court will decide today. Now, he is purely come here for the investigation in the pub attack case. The Malegao case... We are not doing it, and it is up to up to the ATS to do it. So we are more concerned with our pub attack case at the moment. Right, sir. Sir, there is news that the ATS uh, wants to question him in the Malegao case. Uh, what can you tell us about that? In fact, I have still got, uh, got no confirmation. So I am not in a position to say whether they have come or not. But I have no information about it so far. So, sir, are you saying the ATS hasn't contacted you as of yet about the... the how they want to question uh, Mutalik in the Malegao blast case? No, we have no information. They have not contacted. They have not. Uh, we don't know whether they have arrived in Mangalore so far or not. Right, sir. Sir, uh, as you said, you will be trying for his custody today, Mutalik's custody. Yes, we have already put an application yesterday before the police custody, and that decision will be done today. Right, sir. Thank you for joining us uh, with that information. A.M. Prasad, their IG uh, West Zone. Well, for more on this case, we're also joined by NDTV's uh, Vasanti Hari Prakash. Uh, Vasanti, uh, we were just speaking to the IG uh, West Zone there, and he said at this point they're investigating the Mangalore uh, pub attack case, and uh, they didn't really have information about the ATS uh, wanting to question Muthalik for his Malaga blast connections. Well, that's true. Gargi, yesterday the bail has res uh, the court in Mangalore has reserved its orders for on the bail application uh, moved by the police. Of course, I'm sorry, moved by the lawyer for uh, Pramod Mutalik. In fact, a kilometer from where I am standing in Mangalore right now, Pramod Mutalik has spent a night in judicial custody in the in the jail there. Uh, today, of course, there are uh, expected to be developments. The National Commission for Women, a three-member team, is expected to arrive to probe more on these pub, pub attacks. But then uh, the Maligao investigations are, are a totally different story from what the Mangalore police is concerned about. And uh, that is something which, of course, in the next few hours will, will give us more leads into that. Gargi? Right, Vasanti. Vasanti, also there was some information that uh, the women who'd been attacked are now fearful, really, of uh, coming out and speaking. Well, uh, I guess uh, it, it was a matter of a few days before that would happen because initially, right after the incident, there was so much of a media spotlight that the families of the victims, both the girls and the guys, were understandably concerned uh, and, and, you know, did not want to be in any case connected or seen uh, uh, openly. But I think it is very true that the police has, uh, uh, has a weak case unless and until eyewitnesses come forward, the victims themselves, and put that on record because that will help the police case, especially when their opposition to the bail applications of those accused and also to Pramod Mutalik are concerned. So ultimately, this is something that is very, very essential for the police and, and the case to, to reach its natural conclusion. Gargi. Right, Basanti. Of course, we will keep returning to you as there are more developments in this case. Thanks for joining us there. Uh, Pramod Mutalik, as you know, has been uh, arrested in the Malagao pub attack case. What's more worrying, however, uh, is that information has been emerging of his possible links to the Malagao blast case. We will be tracking all those developments, but uh, for the moment, some more.